Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Chasm Chrome on uh, Dockage. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, Let's get back to your registered programming. So we're going to be installing Chasm Web Chrome. It, it'll make it to where you can run your uh, cr a Chrome browser inside of uh, Dockage. And um, it uses Chasm BNC. Uh, this is a standalone. It's not the full Chasm. Uh, the environment variables launch URL, which is the default URL the browser starts with. Um, so, and then the user is chasm user, and uh, the, the password is changed on this to dockage. And the IP is going to be 6901 on the host. So, that's what will be installed today. So, I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to scroll down to how to install Chasm Chrome on Dockage right here. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Chrome. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Chrome. The image is coming off of Docker Hub because there's no year before this. And it's Chasm Web Chrome. This is a Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the ports are 6901 on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change this. And then 6901 on the container. And then I'm going to set environment variables. So the VNC password to actually log in to the VNC is dockage. The first URL that will be in the tabs is community.bbertechworld.com. And if you haven't joined, uh, join there. And then um, the allocated uh, shared memory is 512 megabytes. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over my dockage and get this set up and installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go up to Compose right here. I'm going to put a stack name of uh, uh, the Chrome stack. And then, now I'm going to go over here to the editor. I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then, there we go. Now, um, you'll see it over here in the UI and vice versa. I'm going to go ahead and deploy it. And now what that done is it downloaded the Docker image from the registry, got it extracted, and got it up with Docker Compose underneath because this uses Docker Engine. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options in Dockage, active, exited, and inactive. You can see that these are the statuses for the stacks over here. I'm going to go in the stack. So you'll, you'll see your actions up here, edit, which you go into it, and you can see a UI version of the Docker Compose over here, that you can edit it over here, and then it edits over here, and vice versa. You can also add a service underneath the services, so Nginx, and then add container, and then th there we go, it's over here, and over here. I'm gonna delete that. And then now you can uh, add URLs, you can set up environment variables and networks, internal and external. You can have actions up here, so, so deploy your changes, save your changes, stop and inactive, and then discard. I'm going to discard the changes. So you can restart the stack, which just restarts the stack. And then um, you can update uh, the image tags. And then stop and stop and inactive. And then you can delete the stack. You can see the containers in the stack, so Chrome, and then you can see uh, that you can go into bash in the container and then run commands just like normal. There we go. Go back in the stack. And then now this port down here, you can click that and go to the UI. You can also uh, see the console logs down here. It's great for debugging. 
you can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. So that's a little bit about the stack options in Dockage. So now I'm going to be going to the UI. So you're going to put your Dockage IP address in in the port, and then HTTPS is required. So um, I'm not going to hit the port right here on the UI because HTTPS. So I'm going to go ahead and return or enter. Now it's going to say it's a uh, connection is not private. I'm going to say advanced proceed. And then now you're going to put your username in, which is chasm underscore user. And then I'm going to say dockage for the password. And then sign in. Then here we go. We're in here and you're in your Chrome. So the same thing for Chrome over here. So uh, the same settings, I mean, over here. And then um, you, you've got your VNC settings over here. So drag a viewport, keys, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode, set, uh, settings, the keyboard shortcut, stream quality, advanced. And then you can also disconnect from the browser completely and then connect right back up to it. You can also search the web. So I'm gonna say loud keyboard. And then now I'm gonna say got it. So I want you to put your new uh, your new tab up here. You can just go to Google. There you go. You can also go to another website. There we go. So that's how to get Chasm Chrome working on Dockage. So I just went over everything to get Chasm. Uh, Chrome working on dockage. So if you like this tutorial subscribe comment like and support the channel And if you have any video suggestions or, or you need community support you can go down to the big bear community and join our forum There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more